make license plates, and I don't wear oranges or stripes for a living. Travis Bell makes it his business to work with superheroes, promote superstars, and celebrate the silver screen's wide range of movies and TV shows through license plates. We do roughly 200 different license plates from about 150 different movies and television shows. There's Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. Uh, Matthew Broderick from Ferris Bueller. How about we run a nice Cadillac? My treat. 18 years ago, Travis created Celebrity Machines after he bought the car known as the General Lee, seen on the popular TV show, The Dukes of Hazard. Guess who? And it always looked weird with an Indiana license plate on the back of the Pride of the South. So I chased down some of the original prop makers and the people that made the plates for the show. Uh, so the studios would lean on us to make the actual screen accurate license plate. His inventory totals more than a quarter of a million. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Who you gonna call are among the most recognizable. The Ecto-1 plate from Ghostbusters. The Love Me One from National Lampoon Vacation. And Out of Time from Back to the Future. It is as if God created the devil and gave him Jaws. Yes, Jaws has a license plate. Shoot! Steven Spielberg wanted to direct a James Bond movie, so he put 007 on the inside of a plate that came out of a shark. An Indiana business with an array of pre-cut rectangular metal sheets is driven by your fascination of the people and plots behind the dramas, the droids and daring effects that gives you a break from reality and keeps you staying classy no matter your cinematic choices. I'm Annie Taylor reporting.